California's Reparations Task Force is now working to figure out what compensation could look like for people eligible for restitution. This comes as the task force decided those eligible must be direct descendants of either free or enslaved African Americans living in the United States by the end of the 19th century. Fox 40 Capital reporter Ashley Zavala explains how compensating the group will be complex. It does sound that that we've kind of arrived at something that is at least the beginning of a workable model. California's reparations task force met again Wednesday, guiding a group of economists figuring out how eligible black Californians can be compensated for harms rooted in slavery. The task force was created to study the effects of slavery and decide what reparations should be. The group officially decided this week restitution will go to direct descendants of either free blacks or enslaved African Americans living in the United States by the end of the 19th century. But that's just just the starting point. How exactly will we capture these qualitative elements associated with emotional harm and distress from from a system that has been so extractive and so damaging? For compensation, the group agreed to use what economists called a state-specific harms model. It would determine what specific harms the state should pay for, including unjust property taking, housing discrimination, unwarranted police violence, and labor discrimination, to name a few. It seems as if there might be a tier system where it's all for descendants of enslaved people but you know depending on if you were in the state of california longer you probably experienced more harm the task force ultimately decided not to use what economists call the national model for reparations that model calculates an amount due to those eligible and divides that number among the group. Economists urged against using this, noting that if compensation meant addressing the wealth gap between black and white Americans, each eligible person could be owed more than $300,000. That would cost the state about $670 billion, money California does not have. This year's entire state budget is estimated to be less than half of that. But with the model the group is moving forward with, the group faces questions it will have to answer, including setting eligible timelines for the harm and who exactly qualifies as a California resident. And I think the more information we get, um, the complexity of this becomes uh, truly um, difficult. The task force is expected to have a plan delivered to lawmakers by next summer. In Sacramento, Ashley Zavala, Fox 40 News.